I just dropped an update for my Pro Shapes plugin for Final Cut Pro. For those of you that don't know what Pro Shapes is, if we jump inside of Final Cut Pro and take a look at the default shape that they've given us, we can jump on over into the generator settings. We can change stuff like the shape. So now it's a square. We could drag up the outline width. We could increase the distance on the shadow, but there are a few issues that arise with this particular effect. For one, if we take a look at the shadow, you'll notice that it doesn't actually match the rectangle at all. So if I were to adjust the width on this outline, that shadow doesn't match whatsoever. But the larger issue that really made me want to create pro shapes is that if I wanted to adjust the shape of this rectangle, I would need to go down, use the transform tool, we could squeeze it, and you'll notice that the width on the outline at the top is much thicker than the width on the side. So it's not a uniform looking shape. So for that reason, I set out to create Pro Shapes. If we take a look at Pro Shapes, the first thing you'll notice is that it comes with all of these beautiful backgrounds that you can use at any time. But additionally, you of course have access to a whole lot of shapes. There's even shapes that are included that were not originally included with Final Cut Pro. For example, this line, we can drag down onto the timeline and we have full control over the position of this line. And so that's the real power of Pro Shapes. If I were to apply this rectangle once again, you'll immediately notice that we have these on-screen controls. I can go ahead and squeeze in the shape as much as I want. I can raise it up and that width on the outline is going to stay uniform the entire time. But not only that, we can go ahead and apply this Pro Shapes octagon and many of these different shapes actually have full control over each and every point. So I could drag this to be in whichever shape that I could possibly think of and it will adjust accordingly. But that is where the updates to Pro Shapes start. I've made it so that on any of these shapes, if you ever need to, you can go ahead and disable the on-screen controls. That way you can clearly see what you're working with and you're not also accidentally clicking on any of those control points. The second feature I've added is you can now change the fill type. By default, it's set to color, but if we want to, we could change it over to a gradient. Inside that gradient, you have a ton of controls. We can adjust the opacity on different parts of the gradient we can change the colors, of course. Additionally, on the octagon, I've added this roundness slider so you can see how we can really smooth out those points. But this next feature is my absolute favorite feature that I've just added, and that is that we can change the outlines on these shapes over into a chalk line. So we'll change the outline style from solid over to chalk. Now you'll see that it has this chalky look to it. We could change the width on that chalk. And then of course we could re-enable those on-screen controls and drag these chalk points to wherever we need. And then just like you could previously in Pro Shapes, we can adjust this last point offset to have it draw on if we wanted to. We could animate that by clicking to add a keyframe, moving forward and then dragging that last point offset up. So now that chalk line is going to draw on really nicely. So those are some of the new features I've added, but another new feature I've added is the long shadow effect. So if I have this star shape down on the timeline, we can go ahead and apply long shadow onto it. You can move this long shadow effect wherever you need to on the screen. We could go ahead and jump inside the video inspector and adjust the scale at the end. So it's kind of coming to this 3D point. We could change the color on that shadow if we wanted to. We could shift it over to a gradient color, maybe change it from this dark gray over to a red and black effect. It's really up to you how you want this to look. You can also use this long shadow effect with the animated presets that I included previously with Pro Shapes. So for example, if I wanted to animate this star bouncing up and down, we could apply my Pro Shapes hover effect and you'll notice that that's also affecting the long shadow. But if we apply the hover effect above the long shadow effect, now it's going to kind of have this 3D dimension to it as that long shadow stays in place. So this can be super fun to play around with. And of course you have all of these different animation presets you can try out with all sorts of stuff like this slide effect. You can adjust the speed on that. We could have it slide from the left and you could even apply it onto this spin effect. So this long shadow effect is super fun to play around with and it can add a lot of dimensionality, not just to your shapes, but you can also add it to text or other graphics inside of Final Cut Pro. And finally, the last thing I wanna cover with Pro Shapes for anybody who hasn't used it previously is the Pro Shapes Creator. I can go ahead and apply that down on the timeline. As part of the update, I've added some nice on-screen controls for this gradient, making it a lot easier to use. And if we wanted to create our own custom shape that looks completely different from all of these other shapes, we can go ahead and go into our video effects, 
I'll look up the draw mask and apply that onto the gradient. Now I can click and create whatever type of shape I can possibly think of. That's looking pretty good. Then we can go back into our Pro Shapes tool and apply the Pro Shapes Creator. Immediately, you'll notice that it's given us an outline, but also it's given us these nice on-screen controls. So I can very easily move the shape around on the screen. We can scale it up, we can rotate it, and if these on-screen controls get in the way, I can go ahead and just click and drag them completely out of the way, making it a lot easier to use. We can, of course, adjust the width on this. We could enable this fill just to fill it in with a solid color if we wanted to. We can make it outline only, which is super handy. And of course, we have all of these drop shadow effects that will correctly match our shape. Now, something that's super important for you to know is that unfortunately, I was unable to apply the chalk effect onto this shape outline. So if you wanna have a super crazy shape that has that chalk effect, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to try and just use the Pro Shapes Octagon. You could adjust the roundness on it to make it much smoother. So that's going to give you the most control over your shape and enable that chalk outline effect. So that was a look at Pro Shapes. There is a link down below in the description plus a discount code as a thank you for watching this video. All the updates showed in this video are of course included completely for free for anybody who has previously purchased Pro Shapes and all of my future updates down the road will always be free. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.